everybody, it's Tired Mama here, and I'm here today to talk to you about the Palfish application and interview process. Several teachers and mentors have already covered this, but I wanted to cover it because I had a wonderful experience this weekend. One of my absolute best friends for forever and forever decided to, to apply and join Palfish, and so I actually got to see firsthand in person um, what the process was, and I got to watch her go through it. So I hope that by me kind of giving you guys some tips and tricks, um, that it'll help you in your process. So first of all, she used my referral link. Uh, it downloads the app to her phone. She signed up with her phone number. The next thing it asks is for her to give some information, okay? You have to confirm your phone number. Don't forget this, you do need a phone number to do this. Um, once it brings up her profile, where she can already sign up to do free talk, one of the things that it asks her to do is very important. It asks her to verify her information and upload a document. This document needs to be a driver's license, um, a passport, a military ID, some legal document that says you are who you say you are, okay? And I have probably 30 people who I have referred who have started the process, gotten to that point, and because they didn't upload a document, it says verification failed. I mean, this is the bulk of my teachers who are, who are missing this step, okay? So make sure that you upload a document. It's secure. They're not going to use your ID for anything. They just want to make sure that you are who you say you are, okay? After that, she can see everything, including apply. She clicked the apply and asked her for her credentials. What has she done? Give your information. Um, she had over nine years teaching experience. She was able to go in and very quickly fill out her information and provide her TESOL certificate number. The TESOL needs to be a 120 hour teaching certificate with a certification number. You have to enter that certification number. I know a lot of teachers have done the course through International Open Academy. If you do that, then you need to go to do a proof of the corrected or of the final TESOL certificate. You don't have to actually buy it, just go do the proof. And when you do that proof, you can screenshot it, okay? So you can screenshot that and that's fine. Um, let's see, what's next? It took her right to set up her interview. She was able to set it up the same day. I recommend not doing it the same day. You need some prep time. I'm gonna put a list of videos below and it's all different videos that will help you really prep for your interview. You need to understand the basics of TPR, of, um, how to get a child to draw on the screen. All right, so I'm gonna put those videos below, make sure that you watch those. For the actual interview, you're gonna to teach to an empty classroom. There's no one in this classroom. It will start at the zero zero, letting you um, record. It, it will record automatically. There's nothing you need to do, no start button. And you're going to do the pre-K class called Hello Monkey. And I'm actually going to insert each slide here so that you can see, I think it's going to be over there actually, so that you can see what it's going to look like. So the very first slide um, in the octagon has five octagons. The first one is circle. That's the one that you really need to focus on. Can you get the child to circle? So what I do is I go circle and I circle the entire octagon, okay? It's written in Chinese what you want the student to do. So circle, and then circle monkey. Circle, okay? That's the big one, because they want you, they want to know that you can teach the student how to do something, okay? Slide number two is two little monkeys, you pull your video and the student's video by just clicking down, like pull it down and it's going to pop up, your face will pop up in a circle 
and you pull it down to the monkey's faces. And that's where you go, hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Be very energetic. Change the inflection of your voice a little bit. It'll keep the student interested. Then you have the hello monkey slide. You can practice circle the monkey here as well if the student struggled. Hello monkey! And you pop on the filter. Okay? If you're not where the, sure where the filter is, in the bottom right hand corner there's an AR. Click that and scroll till you see a monkey face. It'll come on you and the student. That's important. A use of the filters is why we use cell phones and iPad devices. Um, this artificial intelligence gives us these filters with the animals and the kids love it. Okay. The first song, well really the only song is My Body. Okay. And you're going to teach nose, mouth, eyes. Okay. So in, in that order is what the song does. What is this? It's a nose, nose. What is this? It's a mouth, mouth. Okay, get into that song. Show some energy. All right. The next slide says nose. It has a little nose. So you go, no, 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 nose. My nose, nose and you really want the student to repeat that. So because you're pretending that there's a five-year-old student in the class, take time for them to respond. Nose. Nose. Na, 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 nose. Okay, when you play along with that, it shows the uh, interviewer, the person who's watching your video, that you're actually going to pay attention to if the student responds and how they respond. By emphasizing some of the harder, the harder, harder sounds, it also shows that you know your pronunciation. Na 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 nose, ma 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 mouth. Okay. The next slide, you're going to see the dog. So you can go, hello dog. Put on the dog mask. Da 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 dog. It's important to remember that at this lower level, you really want the student speaking at least 40% of the time. You should be speaking 60 and the student speaking 40. You really want them to talk more and more. What this does um, when you're in an actual class is it allows you to make a better assessment of where the student is. Then it has eyes. You're going to go through this same process. Now, in this slide, it's actually slide 11, it is, hello monkey, monkey eyes, circle the monkey eyes, monkey nose, circle the nose, okay, and mouth too, of course, okay. Oy. My phone keeps stopping, guys. All right, the monkey hanging from the tree. This is what I do. Ah, hands. So that the student repeats what you're doing. Eyes, nose, mouth, monkey, monkey. Now, you have 18 slides. Your interview needs to be 15 minutes, and you can cut it off at 15 minutes. But you want to make sure that you're not like on slide two or three. Make sure that you're pacing it out a little bit. Remember to reward your students. I personally use the star reward to stay at about every five minutes. It helps me stay on track as to where I am, um, and I know that the student's being rewarded continually. You do not have to have an outside reward for the interview. But make sure you're saying, one star, yay! Two stars, yay! Also, take the time to encourage the student. Good job! 
Fantastic! Yay! All of these things just get this, the kid to have a good time. The student's having a good time, they're gonna remember more, okay? It also helps you be a little bit more energetic because, I mean, let's be realistic. Monkey. Monkey. Or monkey. Monkey. I know that you can tell a difference there. If you have any questions or concerns, make sure that you leave them down below. I'd love to talk to you. The other thing that you need to know is watch the video before this one. Uh, Palfish Teacher Tries Chinese Snacks. I'm giving away a Palfish Snack Pack. I have a number of goodies that I'll be mailing out to one lucky person who watches my videos. Make sure that you comment on that video with your favorite color. It's going to have some fun things in it for you to try with your family. I'll also be giving away a second pack of snacks at our Atlanta meetup on January the 26th of this year. We're going to be meeting at the Atlanta Bread Company. If you look on Facebook, there is a link. Palfish East Coast Meetup. Make sure you join us. We'd love to have you. Let me know how many will be there because we do have other goodies that we're going to be giving away. In the meantime, guys, I'll see you in the classroom. Bye!